Church from OnlyText.org and I just got a new microphone a couple days ago so I thought I would make this video with my voice. Um, I'm going to be exposing Vesseled Soul Defender, a guy that's been that's done two videos on me now. This is the second one I'm going to expose and I'm going to prove to you without a shadow of a doubt that he is in fact a liar and a deceiver <coughs> and he does it on purpose. So check check it out. And in this video I would just like to talk about this channel Cherubim Church again, right? In which this guy made a video trying to defend himself in regards to my last video about his channel. And I'm going to show you that this video that he's got on his channel in regards to the Antichrist Kingdom, he definitely created this video and edited this video in such a way that he combined other videos in such a way to pay homage to the beast, no doubt. You know, and in this response video, right, he's trying to say that the reason that the name of his channel was Cherub and Church was by accident. Actually, it is by a complete accident. It's not damage control. I've said it many times uh, months ago on several different YouTube comments. So it's not damage control. It's actually the truth, something you have yet to find. You know, that's just damage control, no doubt. And you would be simple to believe this guy. Even if you look at the thumbnails on this channel, right, you still got Cherubim Church littered all over the thumbnails. So if it was a mistake or an accident, then why has he got them all littered over his channel, man? The thumbnails are, are littered with the uh, logo and the name because I'm stuck with it. I told you before, if I changed it... It would be a lot harder for people to find my videos, thus find the gospel, because of the CEO or search engine optimization in videos on YouTube. That's why I did it. it has nothing to do with Satanism or Cherubim, the um, the fallen angel. Besides, why do you pick Lucifer alone as the cherub? There's several different cherubs in heaven right now. Why don't you pick one of the other four? So, this is... I'm. Like I said, said again, guys, I'm going to expose this guy for the filthy liar and deceiver and railer that he is. I'm going to mark him, and I suggest that you guys avoid him. And if you guys are subscribed to him or something like that, just avoid him, unsubscribe, and uh, that's it. Yeah, the thumbnails, you know what I mean? And um, let's get into this video, right? And I'll show you more wickedness that's going on, that this guy is paying homage to the beast. And he's teaching that in Revelation 13, 11, the beast in Revelation 13, 11 is Jesus Christ. And he pays homage. He just said that I'm teaching that the, revel the beast in Revelation is Jesus Christ, which I have, I've had a hard time even saying. Um, that is complete blasphemy. Jesus Christ is not the beast. Jesus Christ is God, the only true God that exists. He is the Word of God. He was the one that died on the cross for all our sins. He was buried and arose the third day and paid for every single sin of every single human being that's ever been born that or will ever be born. So to say that, to say something like that, you're weird. Through specific points in the video where he zooms in and stuff. So let's get into it. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. See that? Sorry, I missed it. Go back. Give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. See how he zooms right into that life water there, right? And he's got the beast symbol there. Okay, so here's a video that I found of a commercial that's promoting the Antichrist uh, system and the uh, Antichrist kingdom. And it's called Life Water. And it has a 666 logo with the eye. And of course I'm going to get the verse that says um, that the image of the beast is brought to life. You know, life, life water, the image of the beast, 666, eye symbol. It's all related, okay? That's what I'm exposing. This guy doesn't clearly doesn't understand anything, and he thinks I'm somehow promoting it by showing it. Like, and 
this is uh, here here comes the lie actually he just said that I zoomed in on the picture where it says life water he says that I zoomed in on it now in the second video in or in the second clip where he says I zoomed in on the Toys R Us upside down cross that I did and he compared the video to the original and he saw that I did it so he exposes that but he doesn't show the original commercial for this video and yet he claims that I zoomed in when in fact I did not zoom in here that is from the actual commercial they zoomed in on it <clears throat> so he's flat out lying and deceiving you to make a point to make me look bad like I'm an antichrist uh, fanboy or something like that and I find that extremely pathetic so if you're listening which you will be since you're subscribed I find that extremely pathetic unchristian ungodly and you need to repent of it <clears throat> before I forget I also want to know what is it that you believe do you believe that you have to believe on Jesus Christ alone for salvation do you believe that you have to stop sinning after you're saved that you have to try to follow Jesus after you're saved or you're going to hell or what exactly do you believe in let's go to Revelation 21.6 The Lord Jesus Christ, and he said unto me, It is done, I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a first of the fountain of the water of life freely. It's only the Lord Jesus Christ that can give the water of life freely, friends. Not the beast in Revelation 13 11. And let's go to Revelation 13 11 just now, actually. We'll start at Revelation 13 15, and he's had power to give life unto the image of the beast. The image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. This life has nothing to do with eternal life. This is just life unto the image of the beast. And that esoteric wickedness that's going on in this video is quite clearly been done on purpose, as we will see as we continue here. Yes, you are. You see, Rick, whatever you do. Because remember, friends, this is not an exposed video. It's a promotion of the Antichrist Kingdom. Look, nowhere in the video, sorry, nowhere in the description, does it say that the, the video is full of lies. It's a promotion, friends. Okay, he goes to my description, and he says that nowhere in the description does it say that the video is full of lies. And that's true, because I have... Uh, well, that's true to a point, because I have the, um, instead of just writing down new descriptions every single time I upload a video, I have the YouTube automate the process, so it's the same description for every single video, um, unless I add something to it later, which is like a link to a YouTube channel or something like that. But for the most part, it's the exact same description, and it has the most important message of all, which is the gospel. But, in the description, we can clearly see, even in his video, it clearly says, Cherubim Church is an online ministry during the end times, exposing the deceptions of the last days using the holy text given to us by Jesus Christ, King James Version only. And then it says, you know, how to get saved, the gospel. So, he is lying. He's telling me that I'm not showing that I'm making exposed videos when that's exactly what exp it says exposing the deceptions of the last days that's the whole point of my channel to wake people up to the truth and I cannot do that by if I don't show them where all the hidden um, secrets are so to speak where all the references to the Antichrist to the beast to the 666 and all this garbage is referenced and he takes something so obvious and plain and twists it and why I think it's because he wants his channel to grow I mean he already has what 420 subscribers something like that and <clears throat> it's pathetic no matter what you don't mess with the new world order new world order is this and it's really very simple so even if you're stupid which you very may well be you can understand no right see how he zooms into the chair with the upside down cross here right See if we go to the original advert. Alright, and see what happens. Right, there's no zooming into the upside down cross. 
But let's watch the rest of this advert and see what happens, right? I am your father. And here he's going to be saying that I zoomed in on the um, upside down lightsaber cross thing, and uh, which I did, of course. But it just proves to me that he watched the original, which he's going to show you. He's going to show that the original doesn't have the zoom in. And of course I'm going to zoom in on it. And then I put a picture of a hand with the 666 symbol and an upside down cross as a uh, tattoo. So this guy is... <clears throat> I have no idea how his brain functions, but it's not normal. Definitely not normal. It's not Christian in any way, shape, or form to be going after people that preach the correct gospel. And I do want to mention that people who do this lose rewards, and it's pretty serious. And they are being stumbling blocks to new brethren, to unsaved people. Why would I put in, I am your father, in my exposed video? Of course, it's a reference to Star Wars. I've seen the movies. I've been a huge fan of the movies since I was a little kid. But why would I put that in? Of course, I cut it out. And I didn't cut out the girl smiling because it's an evil smile. The whole world wanders after the beast, the Antichrist kingdom. And she gives off an evil smirk like that. Of course, it's satanic. She holds an upside down cross and she's smiling like that. Of course, it's satanic. It's not biblical. It's not Christian. See this awesome here? Look what he does with it. In this clip. All the world wondered after the beast. And all the world wondered after the beast. He used that scripture, right? He quotes that scripture. And they worshipped the dragon which gave power unto the beast. And they worshipped the dragon which gave power unto the beast. He edits the video to put this scene here in where it says awesome. Paying homage to the beast. <laughs> okay, so... Toys R Us said awesome with three W's. Um, it, it, this is another proof that this guy is a filthy liar and just a plain out deceiver. He's trying to deceive people. Um, he's trying to get a channel views, most likely. Uh, I'm not sure exactly why he's doing it, but I'm speculating that's what he's doing. Anyway, I didn't write the awesome. Um, Toys R Us did it. And they added three W's, and three W's means 666. So that was just another uh, expose thing I did for the video. And he's saying that I put the awesome in there to celebrate the Antichrist Kingdom. Even though right after that image, I show Hebrew uh, letters that show that it, W means 666. Because that's awesome clip does not come to the end of the video, see? The end of the advert. So he obviously, he obviously edited the clip to have that fit in at the precise moment where it says, and they worship the dragon which gave power unto the beast. And they worship the beast, saying, who is like unto the beast? And it also says there that they worship the beast, see? You know, so he knows exactly what he's doing, and this channel is filled with anti-Christ propaganda. Look at that, man. Absolute wickedness. The allure through the lusts of the flesh, these channels, friends. And where's that other one that I've seen? Look at that, Satan is watching. I tell you something, friends, that's more, more worship of the beast, more. Because Satan cannot see all things. Okay, so he goes to this thumbnail where it says Satan is watching with the eye. Uh, Satan is watching. He's not omnipotent or omniscient or anything like that, but he has, I think, millions and millions of demons and fallen angels watching, and that's basically his way of being, quote-unquote, God, because that's his goal, to be God, to see everything, to know everything. So that's why I put that thumbnail up there. Um, it's pretty obvious, but whatever. So basically this is saying, um, he could just as well say that the Bible says that uh, Satan wants to be God and therefore their Bible is promoting Satanism or something like that. It's stupid. You have to stop with this, whatever your name is. This is stupid. Okay, and you're embarrassing yourself and you're just putting doubt in people's minds for no apparent reason at all. Well, that's more promotion of that eye wickedness. And where's that other one that I've seen? 
Yeah, that. What's that supposed to mean? Praying to some sort of cherub or something? What's that supposed to mean? It says right there. How do you defeat death? Just slap it. I googled an image of, um, what do you call it? Uh, the angel of death or whatever to illustrate and then a slap hand or whatever so I even put the two pictures together in Photoshop and this guy thinks I'm somehow promoting something satanic it's like silly go watch the video it clearly says that uh, in Islam they think um, Moses I believe slapped uh, the angel of death and that's where it comes from how you this guy is I'm 100% sure that this guy is deceiving people on purpose and he knows exactly what my videos mean it's right there and you know this guy knows exactly what he's doing and you're being rebuked in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ you ought to repent and you ought to get off YouTube and quit preaching your lies remove all the wickedness on your channel no you are being rebuked in the name of Jesus Christ our only savior that is what you are being and you need to stop making videos stop making videos completely go back to reading the bible learn the bible learn how to pray and keep asking god for guidance in your life because this is ridiculous I, the first video i saw that you made just made me laugh and then i felt weird and that's the only feeling i have from you is pure cringe weirdness it's just weird publicly renounce luciferianism and then maybe people will believe what you're saying uh publicly renounce luciferianism what do you think i've been doing this entire time like what what is this this is so weird lucifer is a fallen filthy disgusting crap angel that's going to burn in the lake of fire forever the antichrist is some guy that's going to burn forever the false prophet is some guy that's going to burn forever and who's going to burn them the only God who is Jesus Christ the Word of God that's who's going to burn them for all eternity is that public enough like stop making these foolish stupid videos it makes you look stupid like I don't understand how people can watch it and like your videos it looks so weird um, in conclusion this guy has no spiritual discernment at all he's very confused and he needs to learn the Bible and not take verses out of context to fit his own agenda. And that's it for me, guys. Take care. God bless you. Uh, salvation is by faith alone. Simply believe the gospel. You don't have to turn from your sins. You don't have to stop being an alcoholic. You don't have to stop being homosexual to go to heaven. All you have to believe is that Jesus Christ died on the cross for all your sins. That he is God in the flesh. That he died for your sins on the cross. Shed his blood. That he was buried and that on the third day he rose from the dead.